Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, or Gateway to Glimmer, whatever. Anyway, uh, so last time we finished, uh, Metropolis, I think? Um, uh, we did one of these levels anyway, and the point is, oh, we've now done everything except the speedways, so... Speedways are boring, and not fun, so we are going to go and fight Ripto now. Ripto's Arena is this way, uh, we'll just top up the steps. Can I go on the slide, slide, so, 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 blah, blah, sideways bit? No. So I might be able to walk up there instead of jumping up the steps a whole bunch. Because, yeah, this is annoying. Eh, it doesn't matter. Up, 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 up. Ripto's Arena. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to stand still. That was a silly cutscene. Ripto. Ripto's arena. Okay, the last boss was a lot harder than I was expecting, so we'll see how we go with this one. Um... Oh, thanks. Uh, I guess getting those orbs was worth it? Sort of. Let's just run away from Ripto to start with. Oh, I see, there's this orbs on the ground now. Oh, oh, Ripto's grabbing the orbs. That's not good. Okay, so... I don't quite get how this works, but okay. Do I have to get the same color of orb, or does it... Okay, okay. This is a bit silly. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> Where are the butterflies? I took out the sheep twice and... Okay, there we go. This camera doesn't really work very well for this particular fight because it keeps making you look at Ripto, but you actually have to look at where the orbs are. Hmm. It's not ideal. Can I attack him with just normal power, or does that not work? Um, doesn't seem to work. Doesn't do any damage. Ah! This is a very different design to the first two fights, which is interesting. But also, I don't know if it works super well. Um. What? 
Seems like some of your attacks are just objectively better than the other ones, which is a bit silly. Um, it probably should have made all the three power-ups equally good, but they didn't. What does the blue one do? It make, oh, it makes you charge faster, okay. It makes you fire, it doesn't change your fire, but you charge faster, okay. Um. Also, this is not a great fight to have if you happen to be colorblind. Did I win? Oh, oh, Ripto's got a robot now. Watch out for Ripto and his robot uh, with his homing attack. Yeah, that. Am I meant to jump over it? I... Okay, yeah, so so uh, blue is supercharged. You're meant to charge into stuff while you have it. Uh, but the other ones upgrade your flame to something usually better. Not always. He just hurt himself with that attack? He just aimed the wrong way. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this design. Kind of working. I don't know. <laughs> Did I win? Phase three. Oh, oh, now he's got a bird. Oh, okay, I'm I'm super spyro. Chaos control. <laughs> Flying controls in this game aren't great, so... Uh, this part's not working super well, but it's okay. It could be worse. Also, come to think of it, did it matter how many orbs are actually collected? Because it... I imagine the fight would just keep going forever. And they just keep using more and more orbs, right? Take that robot bird thingy. I guess Ripto's dead. Yay! Okay, that was much easier than the second boss battle. Okay. Suppose you have to go now. <laughs> yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. 
Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. It's a bill. I most certainly do not. Hunter? <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he didn't <laughs> so much on your way through Avalon. <laughs> Keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah. Yay! What a happy ending. We got all the money back from money bags. <laughs> uh, credits? Oh, that's cute. Uh, this is not the end of the trilogy. There are three games, so I assume... Oh, I pressed something and it went to Ripto Defeated. I guess I pressed whatever the skip credits button is, but I don't know which one it was. <laughs> Ripto Defeated. Yeah. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah. Uh, where am I now? Is this Dragon Shores? It is Dragon Shores. Uh, can I do anything here, or is it just like, well, you beat the game? Well done, Spyro. Step right into Dragon Shores Park. Oh, thanks. By the way, if you win ten tokens, you can visit our theater. Okay, there's, so there's still stuff to do here. Game's not over yet. Even though there is another game to play after this as well. Step right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terrifying creatures fall into the water below. But don't worry, you won't hurt them. Okay. Splash. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Have Got a token. Want, Am I supposed to do it? Will I get another token? Or is it just you do it once and then you can keep doing it if you want? This is pretty easy, isn't it? Yep, there's another token. Have another shot if Do I just keep going? Oh. Wow, you last token. Okay. You only have three. Yeah, that makes sense. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, this door over here requires 64 orbs and 10,000 cri uh, crystals or treasure. I assume that means I need to get everything in the game to open the door. Uh, because my overall... Yeah, I have... I only have 60 orbs. Maybe there's some more in this world? I think I got every orb on the way. Let's have a look around. Uh... Welcome to the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the shores, we don't just ride, though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? Watch out for the other coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. Okay. Oh, I see. I, I can jump. This is silly.
That was very easy. Thanks. Okay, so then it gets harder. Am I supposed to be switching tracks or just jumping when I see something to jump over? I'm really not sure. Uh, I think it's looping. Can I switch tracks if I, like, hold left? Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, I just did that. Okay, it just loops around and around. Okay, and then you go to the right. I'm not sure how I'm turning onto the other track while jumping. Like, you wouldn't think that'd be possible. This is still extremely easy, by the way. Oh, you do the whole thing again? Oh, okay. Never mind what I just said. <laughs> That's super annoying. <laughs> I think you can just take all the loops immediately, uh, because they always loop you back to the same part you were on. I'm not really sure how Spyro is controlling this, it doesn't look like they're moving at all. Oh, oh, a loop to loop. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, not bad. Okay, then there'll be one more, I assume. There's one more run. You're on a roll. I have to use the cannon to shoot down balloons. Alright. How do I do that? Do I have to aim it, or do I just press a button? Okay. Oh, it's the red balloons. Okay, I get it. It's the A button, by the way, the one you use for fire normally. So, I guess that makes sense. I missed one of the turns earlier, so I'm gonna have to redo the early part, but that's okay. The track does loop around, so... Yeah, I'm just mashing the A button when I see a red balloon. <laughs> That's gonna get to 49, so I'm gonna loop around one more time. And then start mashing the button. There we go. Wow, you're a net. They could have just given me the first one and just given me all three tokens. Like, it didn't need to curve up like that. Hmm. Can't, oh, I can't go up there? Yeah. I wanna just go up and have a look, but no, you have to go on the coaster. Um, this is not really much of a vacation. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so that's the guy who gives you lets you into the theater when you have the tokens, but I don't have the tokens. Uh, Hiya, Spiral. I hear you're a pretty good shot. 
A shooting gallery, alright, let's do it. I'm shooting ducks, okay. Give me something to shoot. There we go. Let me guess, three tokens? Yes. <sighs> Thank you. Maybe there's four rounds. Hang on, am I shooting dragons now? What, what, what am I looking at? Apart from a bit of a frame rate drop. Okay, I have nine tokens. I assume there's one thing that gives you one token. Probably whatever this is. It's a tunnel of love! Alright. Let's get on the Tunnel of Love. Let's go. Oh, Spyro and Sparks are going on the Tunnel of Love together. That's adorable. Oh. Okay. Oh god, where'd that come from? <laughs> Thank you for the one token. Well, I have ten now. So I guess I can go to the theatre? And then that's everything here. I was expecting a beach instead of a theme park. What does the theatre do? Oh, I see. It lets you play back all the cutscenes in the game. Right? Yeah, it does. Uh, I, I guess that's something. I don't know if that's really worth doing, but it's something. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's Spyro 2 for you. Um, I can't get into this door unless I have all of the other... St hang on, there's still... Where do I get those last orbs from? Did the sp oh, the speedways give you orbs. Okay, so there's four speedways in the game, therefore four orbs I haven't got. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, um, well, I guess that's it for, for this game for now. Um, we're at about 23 minutes, so I guess I'll call it a video and I'll head on and start Spyro 3. Again, I'll be, I'll be trying to do the speedways off camera, but I'm not very good at them. So, um, I'm not really expecting to succeed. Um... <laughs> uh... But yeah, that's it for Spyro 2. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time we start Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Which is a game I know absolutely nothing about. Spyro 2 I'd played a little bit of, with like emulators and stuff. Spyro 3 I've never played, so I abs know absolutely nothing. Uh, and we're gonna play it now, I mean, in the next video, and we'll see what it's about. Uh, I think Spyro has more abilities in that game than in this one, but I'm not really sure. And you only really got a couple of abilities in this one anyway, so eh. we'll see what Spyro 3 brings for us. But that's it for Spyro 2. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!